skim Bullfinch's mythology and learn that a myth is memory's memory. The ruby talisman protects Abacus and her father. They flee to the library to join the others. Apho scans the recovered history book. He finds the myth of a user victory over the wiper centuries ago in another galaxy. Humbuckler orders the user base destroyed. Wipers marched onto the battlefield, they could see no users. Loud thunder sounded, and they looked toward the sky. But it was clear, except for one single cloud hanging over a nearby hill. Suddenly, a large shadow in the shape of a strange creature fell across the cloud. The shadow creature possessed the head and arms of a soldier and the body of a clomont. Slowly, it raised an object above its head, above the cloud, into the clear moonlight, revealing a stone the color of blood. The ruby talisman. A loud voice broke the silence with one word. This sight so filled the wiper warriors with terror that they fled the battlefield, never to return. Oh, I love you, wizard, wherever yes, you are. Yes, that myth does seem to have a cloud and a reference to a ruby, but... What about a horse? Or a horseman? I wonder, what is a Clomont? This 400 class book, the ancient wiper language, gives the ancient word. I'll look in it. The cloud, the ruby talisman. Clomont is a wiper word for a fierce four-legged creature with a long tail and a long neck, growing coarse hair on top. A, a horse! horse. Oh, they exaggerated the facts. Those wipers actually thought our ancestor was some kind of... Centaur. In Bullfinch's mythology, there were myths about centaurs, beasts that were half horses and half men. And are we not from the Alpha Centauri star system? Then this is the story Grandmother Tesla is told of a victory in another star system. Yes, but those accounts were deleted from our information storage banks for lack of factual data when Tesla was a small child. The history of the battle was passed on by word of mouth. But it is a part of our user history. Now we have victory's history, the myth of this battle. But how do we mirror it? To mirror victory's history, we need to reflect the scene of this battle exactly the way it happened before. How? What was the title of the book that mirrors victory's history? Holography Handbook. A hologram. We can make a hologram and project it for the wipers to see. You see, holograms use mirrors to project a three-dimensional image. So we can mirror victory's history. A clouded victory. This 500 book about clouds. That's it. What? what? A cloud. That's what clouds your night means. We can project the hologram on a cloud. That's right. The myth said that a shape of a strange creature fell across a cloud, and it raised the ruby above its head. And to make a hologram of this, I'll have to start by splitting the laser in this wiper stun gun. Why? That's how we'll be able to make a hologram. And we need to make a special holographic stereogram, a hologram that moves. That's right. History doesn't stand still. <laughs> uh, is that the most current information on Earthling holograms you possess? The last copyright date is 2119. I'm sure we have more current material about holograms. Let's look in the periodicals. What are periodicals? Periodicals are magazines or newspapers published regularly. 
like once a day or once a week or once a month. We received over 80 periodicals at the library. Come on, they're in a special section. Find out as much as you can about moving holograms and take notes. Magazines were published about almost every subject imaginable. Here's Science, Science Digest, Science News, Science Quest, Scientific American. But there are hundreds of these periodicals here. How will we know which one gives the most current information about holograms? With the Reader's Guide to Periodical Literature. We call it the Reader's Guide for short. It's over here. Come on. We can use it to find magazines with specific information about the subject we want. Notice there's one large volume for each year. 21, 23 will be after these. Down here. The smaller volumes were published twice a month with new magazine articles listed. That really was up to date. At the end of the year, all the small guides were bound together into one big volume. What are the numbers and words in boldface? The boldface words are in alphabetical order. Right. Subjects and authors are listed together alphabetically in the reader's guide. Look at the H's for hologram. H O L Hollywood Holmes Walter Stephen. That's an author's name. Holocaust. Here's hologram. Oh, there's a cross reference. It says C holography. Holography is next. What is all that under holography? The titles of the articles about holography in alphabetical order. Are there any good ones? Decorating your home with holography, the ultimate still life. No, keep reading, Mathos. How about holograms that live and move? Perfect. Get in line, get in line. Let's get in formation here. Let's go, let's get in formation. Come on, let's get in line here. Come here, what do you think this is, a kindergarten playground? In line here, let's go. Let's go, pick up those flags. Get those flags there, get those flags. In line, not that way, this way, no way. Come this way. Let's go, let's go. Make a note of all the bibliographic information so we can find the article. What do I write down? The title. Holograms that live and move. Next, the author's name, M. K. Lanier. Then the name of the magazine it appears in. Scidig? That's an abbreviation for Science Digest. The titles of all the magazines are abbreviated in the front of the reader's guide. There's a list of abbreviations and what they mean. What's next? Write the volume number of the magazine, 67. Then the page numbers. Uh, pages 12 through 16. Right. Then the date of that issue of the magazine, May 29th, 2123. All the months are abbreviated, too. Here's another article in Science Quest, Moving Holograms. Good. Find all you can. Write all the information down. While you're doing this, I'm going to talk to Abacus and LIDAR. Abacus, LIDAR, will you check the index to children's magazines? There are hundreds of great magazines for young people with articles on all sorts of subjects. Maybe you can find something about holograms there. What else can I do to help? Well, you can look in the vertical file to see if we cataloged any special up-to-the-minute articles or publications about the latest holographic advances. Where is the vertical file? The file cabinet's over there. But first, look in the card catalog for the subject hologram to see if we kept anything in the vertical file on it. I'm going to see how your father is doing. Right. 
Maybe we should ask Miss Bookhart what to do. Don't worry about it, LIDAR. We'll figure it out. This is the index to children's magazines. Subjects are in alphabetical order. Cross-references tell if more information on a subject can be found in another part of the guide. Titles are listed in alphabetical order under each subject. Just like the reader's guide. The author's name comes next. Then the name of the magazine where the article is found, and the date the magazine was published, and the page is where the article is located. Let's look up holograms. Nothing on holograms in here. No. But wait. Look at this. Horses see animals. I don't know, Abacus. Yeah, let's look that up. Animals. Animals camouflage. Animals' habits and behavior. Can horses follow a scent? S. Fuller, Animal Life, January 23, page 41 through 43. Can horses follow a scent? Don't ask me. Let's go read the article and find out. Elder Tesla. The wipers are definitely in formation. They're arming the reinforcements. Kramer, blockade all entrances. Lead those who are weakest to the storage areas. It seems they're planning an all-out attack. I'll convey this to Reset. Find anything about holograms in the vertical file? Uh, here's the file for holography. There's a pamphlet that Father can use. In the reader's guide, there was a reference to a newspaper article that will help us. Uh, where are the newspapers? What's the date of the article? Mm, June 10th, 2122. City News. That would be on microfilm. That's in the audiovisual room. I'll show you the right drawer. Microfilm is arranged in chronological order. New York Times, City News, 2098 to 2105. Ah, here it is. City News, 2106 to 2123. City News, December 2122. City News, October to November 2122. City News, August to September 2122. Ah, here it is. City News, June to July 2122. This is great. Page 25, 28, 30. Here it is, 32. I guess humans do have a sense of efficient information storage after all, condensing an entire newspaper on a small piece of film. It saves, I mean, saved a lot of space in the library. Most libraries save the local newspapers on microfilm. And we have back issues of magazines, too, as far back as the 20th century. Hmm. I'm going to check on the others. Amazing. I'm going to check on the others. Yes, yes, go ahead. Oh, oh. oh. Colonel Holman. Oh, you shaved. Did I? Oh, yes, I, I, I did. <clears throat> did you find what you need? I believe that we have the technology deciphered. <laughs> Thanks to the periodicals we... Um, oh. But we are missing a few things. 
Well, like what? A horse. We mm. will need a horse. I don't know what happened to the one who followed me after I came into the city. It's probably lost. It won't be easy or safe to find it out there. Father, huh? oh. the horse could have remembered your scent. It may have followed your scent here. What makes you say that, Ambicus? From this article, can horses follow a scent? It says that scientists did experiments with horses and found out that a horse can remember a person's scent and follow it for long distances. But even if the horse found Colonel Holland's scent, how would it know he's here? He disappeared underground. We can leave some things of father's outside at different places along the way to the library. Then maybe the horse will smell them and follow them to the entrance and stay around. What if the wipers see us? It's a gamble, but we'll have to risk it. Without a horse, there can be no victory. I must find Aphos. It was a good thing you found that article about horses in the index to children's magazines. It was easy. Almost the same as the reader's guide, the subjects are in alphabetical order. I found the title of the article, the name of the magazine, and the date. There weren't any articles on holograms. But this article on horses will help. It certainly will. Shall we go? I hope this is far enough from the library. I hope the horse will be able to pick up the scent of its clothing. Let's put some more out. Over there. Hey, let's put some over there. Hey, folks, look out. Wipers. Come on! Hey. We've got to destroy the user base! Yeah. Come on, man! Come on! Come on. Come on.